My name is Irina Gurevich and I'm a professor for natural language processing in the computer science department of the Technical University of Darmstadt. In 2021, I've got the first uh, Hessian Löwe Spitzenprofessur of 2.5 million euros. And this year I've also got an ERC advanced grant. I have decided to invest um, a large part of this grant in the topic of mental health and use of AI and NLP. Mental health is an increasingly pressing issue in our society and with the help of natural language processing and artificial intelligence uh, technologies, uh, we can help uh, training future therapists and future doctors. Another application is um, estimating the degree of depression in uh, clients where we measure the similarity between texts written uh, by clients of different degrees of depression and the current client in order to classify the client in the correct category. Artificial intelligence is reaching uh, the level where it becomes part of our lives. The company called OpenAI has released a large language model called um, ChatGPT. Such writing assistants can become part of our daily life, similar to Google. And we need to think, you know, how this technology can be properly regulated. For example, how can we make explicit that the text has been created with the help of AI tools? What does it mean for topics like plagiarism, for example? What does it mean for copyright? So there is a lot of ground to cover in order to properly integrate the tools with their high potential but also high risks into our daily lives. AI now tackles large societal challenges. For that, we need different types of expertise embedded in a single project. And this is exactly what this um, platform provides because we have a visible research center that gives the critical mass to address uh, really crucial challenges in technology and in society and to compete on the same level as top European or American universities. Also, given the current uh, debate about artificial intelligence, there are, of course, many concerns related how this technology will affect our lives in future. And here the center is very important because we can transfer the knowledge from science uh, to the public, such that it is also accessible to the public. We need to involve the public in these discussions so we can better shape the future of the field.